What's in a word? What's in the word slut particularly? The dictionary considers it a synonym for hussy, slattern or even prostitute. Yet a series of marches, slut walks, which began in Canada and have since spread to the United States and now to Britain, have the ambition of reclaiming the word. But from what? Never can one remark from a single Toronto policeman have had such reverberations. The marchers object to his advice that if women want to avoid being victimised, they should avoid dressing like so-called sluts. It began as a term to describe slovenliness, but it's become one of the most judgmental words of modern times. The Canadian policeman who set these protests off advised an audience of university women that they should avoid dressing like sluts in order not to be victimised. In so doing, he set off protests that seemed to be sweeping the world. No woman anywhere in this world should ever, ever, ever be stigmatised, be blamed or be punished if a man sexually assaults her. The slut walk movement says it's taking back the S word. They say its modern usage is oppressive and dangerous because it blames the victims for their own sexual abuse. The movement's organizers say that sexual confidence is nothing to be ashamed of and that it's time for the word slut to be appropriated by women. But while the notion that women should be free to dress as they like without fear of rape is uncontroversial, some have demurred at the notion that slut can be reclaimed. Critics say a word so steeped in the ideology of female sexual guilt is incapable of redemption. Well, we're joined now by the author of Girl with a One-Track Mind, Zoe Margolis, and by Member of Parliament and fellow best-selling author of the novel Destiny, Louise Bagshaw. Uh, OK, so some policeman in Toronto says something that policemen have said in various places at various times uh, and been roundly condemned for it. Why, what's the point of marching here? I think his, his viewpoint is possibly one that's held by a few too many people and we definitely need to challenge this myth that women are in some way to blame for sexual violence against so them. So that's the key element for you. It Absolutely. Is, it is that you're the author. If you dress in what he calls a provocative or sluttish way, then whatever happens to you is your own fault. Yes, it's, we need to reject this notion that women right. are to blame for sexual violence against us because of how we dress. OK, why won't you join a march that has that as an objective? Um, it doesn't just have that as an objective is the short answer as your intro said that position is wholly uncontroversial I don't care if a woman walks naked down the street Nobody has the right to rape her or sexually assault her in any way what the slut walk thing is doing however is a Lionizing promiscuity and trying to make that into a feminist trait and I see nothing feminist about it It's a self-destructive behavior for men and for women and there is no point trying to make that into a mark of feminism What exactly is wrong with promiscuity? Well, it's a, it's a self-destructive behaviour. It's not good for you your assert. mental health. It's not good for your physical health. It's, a, it's like saying you have the right to go out and get drunk every night of the week. Of course you do. But promiscuity is a harmful behaviour. It's not encouraged for men. It shouldn't be encouraged for women. There's nothing feminist about it. Moralising about promiscuity aside, I don't think that's what these marches are actually promoting. They're promoting the idea that women should be able to express their sexuality in any way that they please and not be worried about being blamed for it or being labelled with a sexist label like slut. And it is about reclaiming that power away from, from the people that label women. If that were true, I would have no problem with it, but it isn't true. In an article today, one of the, the founders of the English version of, or the British, I should say, version of Slut Walk, who's organising a march in uh, Cardiff this summer, said that it is not just about that, but it is about saying that women have the right to be sexually aggressive. Well, of course, they have the right to do anything they want but uh, dressing as we've seen in some of these frankly exhibitionist ways is promoting behavior that is going to be harmful to women just as it would be harmful to men we promote safe sex we promote loving relationships we do it for men there's no reason that we shouldn't do it for women too I don't think judging people on how they dress has any correlation whatsoever to their sexual behavior and I think that um, labeling people is also completely but they are talking about reclaiming aggressive sexual behavior taking the word slut 
out and making it into a feminist trope. I, I, and I think that's ludicrous. I think it's very important, actually, to reclaim the word. The word has been used against women for many, many years, well, and it's, it's been, very damaging. Since 1450, you're never going to reclaim that. Reclaim it well, from what? When has it been used in a positive way? We appear reclaim to have quite a good movement at the moment of people who want to go out there and demonstrate and actually say, no, I refuse these labels, I reject the sexism, and I'm going to express my sexuality how I want, without yeah. fear of judgment. Are you not concerned, though, of the many, many things that you know, people could, women could rightly protest about? Part of the, the way police deal with many rape investigations, mm -hmm. the overt sexualization of, of the representation of women in this society. I mean, there are dozens of things you could... This is a bit of a... Well, Bad issue. actually, it's a clever way of doing it, I think, because by focusing on the word slut, it's, it's showing that women are being labelled and being blamed, and women fear being labelled and being blamed, and that's actually preventing women going to police when they have been the victims of sexual violence and reporting. It's a very underreported crime. We know this. This is, this is true. We need to encourage more but, women to do it, and if women are feeling a fear of being judged for their but, sexual behaviour, so, they won't report the crimes but against doesn't them. doesn't the promotion of sluttishness, which is what this is, really... Doesn't that encourage undesirable behaviour? Well, define desirable. I don't think well, it's... I just wonder I think if, you, it's if you had a teenage daughter, whether you would take to be able quite to the go same view. And wear what they want and not fear being judged about that. Why, you know, I, I, I'm, I, I oppose the, the, the burqa bans just as much as I oppose this, this criticism of how women dress and that, you know, we should be calling them such. We shouldn't. We shouldn't ever judge people based on what they appear like. Full stop. Men or women. And let, let's just get, set the record straight here. Men are the victims of sexual violence as well. Absolutely. By, by, by men mostly. Yep. No one ever says, well, you know, it's his fault, we shouldn't have worn those jeans, and people still say it about women. Until we challenge that sexism, until we actually get out there and make a difference about that, nothing will change in terms of sexual violence. That's quite right, but that's not what Slut Walk's talking about, is it? Slut Walk is additionally saying that women should have the right to be sexually aggressive, that women have the right to be slutty, that they're going to reclaim a word which is unreclaimable because it's never been used in a positive way. They're lionising promiscuity and trying to say to women, this is how you empower yourself, this girls. This is not true. And there's nothing empowering. It is going to be so empowering for so many of these young women who've never had a voice to find thousands of other people who they feel aligned to, to go out there and say they feel proud to be female. They feel, they feel proud to express their sexuality how they want. I feel proud to be female. Want. I'm proud to be it's, female. And I've, it's I the modern agree version of Reclaim the Night. And I absolutely support all the young women. The, the, the woman who's organising the, the London event is a 17-year-old girl. Uh, uh, you know, uh, fantastic that the young women are actually out there trying to do something feminist and supporting other women. It's fantastic that young women are talking about don't judge us, uh, don't judge us based on our clothing. Nobody has the right to rape us based on what we wear. It's not particularly fantastic that when there are so many real causes of oppression, when rape rates, uh, conviction for rape in this country is unbelievably low, that the message that people uh, are taking to the streets in which, surprise, surprise, the press is picking up with and running, with picture, uh, running massive pictures of all over the newspapers is just an excuse to say to women, promiscuity is great, girls, this is how but you take power but that's back. that's not the message. That's and not actually, good, I'd, that's not right. I'd say it's fantastic. The media coverage has been brilliant, in which case the plan has worked. We've got rape on, on the front pages. We've got people discussing it, talking about the issues. How else can we actually get women's equality on the front page? I say well, congratulations to the people organising the slut walks. I'm all for it. Promiscuity is not equality. Okay. And that's the bad message. Thank you both very much. Thanks. Now the